We all know Lovable.dev is trending nowadays as currently the most powerful AI-powered app builder. However, many people are struggling to use it effectively, so I decided to create a full series covering all the development processes you need to master Lovable and build your next successful app. In this video, I'll guide you through the straightforward process of setting up authentication with Superbase, as authentication is one of the core components of any app. For this tutorial, I'll give Lovable a very simple prompt to create a landing page, an authentication page, and a dashboard page. For your personal project, I recommend asking it to generate a sample signups or login authentication page and then connect it to the backend with Superbase. Once we've developed the sample pages, we'll test the pages without connecting the backend to ensure the user flow works correctly. At this stage, you can enter any details as placeholder since the backend is not yet connected. Once we've verified the flow, we'll proceed to connect it to Superbase. Connecting to Superbase is very simple. First, click the Superbase button at the top, log in to your Superbase account, and grant Lovable the necessary permissions. Next, create a new project in your Superbase organization. For this video, I'll name it Auth Test. Set a password for the project and click Create. Superbase will take a minute or two to set up the project. Once it's ready, you'll see a page like this. Now, we'll ask Lovable to connect our project to the Superbase project. Once connected, Lovable will inform you about the available options, such as adding authentication and creating a database. Next, we'll prompt Lovable to add authentication to our project. Be sure to ask it for the site and redirect URLs, which are essential for validating the connection. Navigate to the authentication page in your Superbase project dashboard, scroll down to the URL configuration section, and copy and paste these URLs into their respective fields and click Save. Then, navigate to the Providers section, click on Email and turn off the Confirm Email and Secure Email Change options temporarily. This step is to simplify testing and ensure the authentication is working correctly. Once the authentication has been successfully implemented, you can re-enable these settings for added security. Finally, test the authentication within your Lovable project. You may encounter a few errors, but simply ask Lovable to fix them. It took me about three attempts to get the authentication working perfectly. And that's it. At this point, you can explore Superbase further to add more options for signing up, such as social logins, to enhance your authentication page. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be creating a series of tutorials on lovable.dev and in the final video, I'll walk you through building and deploying a complete actual project. So stay tuned for more videos.